Hello guys! Today is a very very special day. I am releasing my very first Vital sound bank. So today I'm just gonna use the Vital bank. Have fun, make a track, we'll see what happens. I already started on something. I sincerely hope you're gonna enjoy this video. If you do, don't forget to smash the like button. It really helps me out. And of course, if you wanna get the Vital bank, link in the description. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so here we are. I scoured the whole internet, it feels like, for a nice acapella. And I just I just can't find nice acapellas on Splice anymore. But yeah, this one sounded all right. Uh, it's very short, so I think we're like going straight into the build up from here. So the only thing I have here, uh, the processing on the vocal so far, is a little bit of Valhalla Vintage Verb, just like a tiny bit. A little bit of OTT to glue the reverb with the acapella. A little bit of delay on top of that. And then another reverb that is pretty low on the width, but has a much higher decay. And then we just have this top loop from the guitar pack, which is also in the description. And then we have these chords called Chords Wow 03, nice name. And that's everything we have so far. So let's start to, 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 uh, so let's try to turn this into a full track. So like I said, I want to turn this part into a build up straight away. Uh, so I'm just going to put in some transitional elements between the intro and the build up, starting with my favorite ambient shot of all time. Moving on, another important element is some impact. Maybe an exhaust as well. I also think... Yeah, I think I want to use this uh, percussion loop. Haven't used that one in a while. It's one of my favorites as well. Give to kind of this uh, clock kind of sound. Uh, together with that, I think we're going to add some drop claps. Giving those a little pan to the left and the other loop a little pan to the right. And before I forget about it, I'm going to add a Moody Slider Bass, which of course they're doing a return in the Vital Bank. So when you are importing the Vital Bank, you click here, you click Import Bank, and then you'll find it down here. So MNJ Vital Sound Bank Vol. It doesn't say Volume 1 for some reason, which is really weird, but here it is. So there's 100 presets, just like the Silent Bank and the Serum Bank. I actually don't know how many basses, how many leads and, and, and stuff there is, but you can see here quite a lot of basses. You even have like brass stabs here, which is pretty cool. Anyway, we were supposed to add a moody slider bass, so we have five. They all have a little bit of a different texture to them. Maybe this one could be cool. Has a little bit of a flanger chorus thing going on. I always like to put a little cutoff filter on the Moody Slider bass, uh, just because I want to use them sort of as a sub bass, but with a little bit more texture and a little bit more uh, feeling to them, I guess. That's gonna be super dope. We're gonna introduce like a lead, and I just want to do this for the meme, ARP 3C. Uh, if you're a regular of the channel, you know I use this uh, ARP in every track as sort of a meme. I'm just gonna use it, uh, but I will put a cut filter on it uh, and we'll do it like this. So it's just gonna be in the background, you know? And now, very important, we have to add snares. Snares. Sna All right, guys, so now we just have to add like snares and stuff. So we're gonna go into here. Uh, I think we're gonna, gonna do like big snares. Uh, Cause I have this thing that I really like to do, right? So <laughs> you guys always mock me for my Swedish accent. It's like, I'm Swedish, what do you want from me? All right, so I'm putting the snares down here. And we're gonna do this pattern. Just gonna add a little bit more snares. That 
that seems like a nice little um, little build-up loop. And here, let's add some risers. And I'm gonna copy the chords because I think we need to fill this space out a little bit. So let's find another chord layer. Let's go into the vital sound bank here. And see if we can find some nice chords. Actually, these flanger chords could work. And I want to filter on this one as well. Yeah, and for the drop, ooh, I had, I know exactly what I want to do. I'm gonna pull in this kick, which is like a pop kick. It's not from Atmos, it's from the, um... It's from the new sample pack that's coming later this year. Oh. Yep, and we're gonna do some snares here, and then the beat's gonna drop, and it's just gonna be woo! And I'm gonna create a swing automation, because I don't want there to be any swing in the build-up, but once we get to the drop, I want to have that swing in here. And let's add some claps here to this little beat as well. So now we can move on to, to adding a bass. Gonna go into vital, obviously. We're doing a vital thing today. I think I want to start with this one. A bass analog contra. I think it's, it kind of sounds like a contra bass, like one of those you have standing up. And I think if we add distortion to this, it's gonna sound really cool. A little bit of OTT and a little bit of sound grizer. Totally ruining the, the sound itself, but I still think it can be pretty cool. So a kickstart goes on as well. All right, cool. Now it's just a matter of layering this bass a little bit. And I think I want to go for punchy sub. And I won't do anything to that. I'm just going to add a kickstart. Alright, I think that's a good starting point for a bass. So we just have the bass analog contra with a little bit of distortion and a bass punchy sub. So first thing, I'm just gonna add a little bit of white noise here to the first punch. Speaking of first punch, let me try the preset bass first hit. I thought it was called first punch, but it's called first hit. Just putting an EQ on it like this. Ooh, let's let's do like a melody. Fast before I lose the melody. Lead distant pop. Alright, I took a pee break and I don't like this melody. I'm gonna make a new one. I'm gonna use the pluck stringy preset this time. All right, this feels a little bit better. All right, I'm gonna add some more layers to that. So let's go back into the sound bank. Let's find some nice leads. I like this sound, but I don't know if it will fit. I think it sounds pretty good. Let's see if there's anything else. Could try this one. Shouldn't we just like copy the melody from the vocal? Like I'm gonna replace the melody for a third time. You know how I am with melodies. It's just I'm so critical of melodies. It has to be perfect or it's not good enough. But I really like these layers, so I'm, I think I'm gonna keep them. All right, that melody sounds a lot better. Third melodies, the charm, as you always say. All right, so it's time for some chords. These sound really cool. All right, that sounds pretty cool. Let's see if we can find another chord layer as well. All 
Damn, that that sounds awesome. I took the same chords that are in the in the build up, but I just took down the release and uh, the reverb and also brought up the um, the cutoff filter a little bit. And holy crap, that sounds awesome together. We have to fill this drop out a, a lot more, but so far those chords really like took things to the next level. I'm gonna do the good old reverb sweeps on the leads. See if we can fill it out a little bit that way. Let's add another layer to the lead that's like a little bit more plucky as well. Okay, so there's a preset called pluck random, literally. This uses the random thing in Vital and it changes uh, the wave shape on every single note, like randomly. I think that could sound pretty cool. Damn, okay, 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 okay. So that's gonna be random every single time I play it, which is... Uh, it's very interesting to say the least. Let's bring this guitar loop in here as well. Ooh, let's put some guitar licks in here. Um, so this one, but we're gonna change the key and the tempo. And we're gonna give that a little bit of distortion. Woo! We are gonna put in these ones. Nice! Dude, that's so cool. Alright, so this drop is sounding pretty funky already, but uh, a little bit more final details and I think we're home. Hello guys, Melker from the future here. So I changed the melody a fourth time. I don't know, there, there was just something about the melody that I didn't really like, so... Uh, fair warning, the new melody isn't that great either, but I think it's better. So I'm just gonna take over from Melker in the past uh, real quick to kind of show you what I did. So first things first, the melody. And as you can hear, I added one more lead layer. So the first preset is the lead modern, and the second one is lead epic 01. It's very epic. I also just added some small stuff like, uh, like some percussion, uh, some more guitar riffs, uh, stuff like that. So this right here is just a reverse uh, acapella. And then this riff is really, really cool. And it's just a bunch of random samples from the guitar pack that I sliced together. Uh, other than that, I don't think there's much else to it. Oh, we have this thing uh, up here. To give kind of some filler, I think you're gonna hear it in the final result. Uh, oh, and then I just added flex strings. And then obviously I added a second part as well. Uh, you know, just have some sweeps over here, a drone, a top loop. It looks like I added a bunch of stuff, but but I really didn't. Yeah, there's not really much more that I did to it other than what you've already seen. So yeah, let's hear the final result. there we go do let me know what you think down in the comments personally i really really like it i think it uh, it needs a clear direction i think i always say this but um it is definitely something that i'll be willing to to work more on and and maybe finish who knows there's one thing i can say for sure though and it's that like i really like this sort of genre that i'm leaning more and more towards like this slower poppy more like yeah, I, I don't even know what it's called, but you know, like Leno, Austrian, uh, like guitars, more organic stuff. I don't know. I, I feel like it's a little bit more modern. I just like being able to do any genre I want, uh, whatever I feel like. I think that's what, what it should be like, you know? You should just make the music that you want to make. And um, 
I've been wanting to make a lot of this lately, so hopefully you guys like it, because because uh, I really enjoy making it. And in all honesty, this Vital Sound Bank is like a game changer for me personally, I feel like. Because like I said, I'm so happy with all of the sounds in there. I think each sound has its purpose. If you are just a little bit creative, I think you can do like anything with it, really. Yeah, I'm just really happy with it. I really hope you guys are going to like it. I truly think that you're going to love it. It's a lot of work right now. But I feel like I'm happier than ever. I feel blessed to have this small YouTube audience. God damn, I appreciate you guys more than you know. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you grab the Vital Sound Bank, please let me know what you think of it. I am so eager to hear your comments on it. Have a great weekend. Bye bye.